classified by authority of the SCP Foundation Overseer Council. This document and all associated documents are the property of the SCP Foundation and are subject to the classification requirements and restrictions therein. This document may or may not contain lethal mimetic defense measures. Attempting to access or disseminate this document without proper and sufficient authorization is punishable by death. Item Number SCP-8999 Level 3 Confidential Containment Class – Euclid Disruption Class – Eki Risk Class – Danger Special Containment Procedures Abi Parish has been purchased and shuttered by the SCP Foundation. All communication with SCP-8999 must be approved by Research Group 8999 before initiated. Received communication from SCP-8999 is to be scanned and archived. Seismic activity caused by SCP-8999 is subject to standard Foundation cover-up protocol. Description SCP-8999 refers to entities unknown in number, presumably located in a vast subterranean cavern system 35 meters below the Abbey Parish, an evangelical Lutheran church in Kalmar, Sweden. While SCP-8999 have not been physically observed, their existence has been documented through extensive communication with the SCP Foundation. SCP-8999 are sapient and capable of articulating themselves through symbols and pictographs. This communication has occurred exclusively through a modified dumbwaiter lift system constructed in the parish basement. Attempts to record footage of SCP-8999 by attaching a camera or surveillance drone to the lift have been unsuccessful. Further communication with the entities has indicated that they possess a desire to remain unseen and are aware of the presence of cameras. SCP-8999 possesses a degree of control over seismic activity in the surrounding area through unknown means, and have been responsible for tremors reaching magnitudes of up to 7.0 on the Richter scale. These events exclusively occur as a result of dissatisfaction with communication between SCP-8999 and the Foundation. SCP-8999 are largely disinterested in communication that does not involve or center around food. Addendum 8999.1 Discovery SCP-8999 were discovered by Father Zacharias Erlbag, the presiding priest at Abbey Parish sometime during the late 20th century. According to his memoirs, Erlbag began communication with the entities after hearing noise coming from a fault line that had opened in the parish basement after seismic activity. Believing it to be the result of individuals trapped underground, Erlbag began lowering food and supplies via a pulley system. While the food and drink were accepted, any inedible materials were returned to the surface. Over a period of time, Erlbag established a communication system using paper and pen, and discerned that SCP-8999 were not human, instead referring to them in his writings as trolls. Erlbag maintained a relationship with SCP-8999 through the remainder of his life, frequently feeding the entities and constructing a more sophisticated lift to deliver their food. On September 18, 2023, Erlbag died of natural causes. In his last memoir, Erlbag entrusted the care of SCP-8999 to his nephew, Emil Erlbag. An excerpt translated from Swedish has been included below. It is through my faith in the Lord, the Shepherd, and his flock that any worries are put at ease. God's grace shall continue to uplift this humble rock as a beacon of love, kindness, and generosity, even without my presence. And to Emil, my beloved nephew, keep mind of those who live beneath our feet, as they are God's creations as well. Please, take care of my dear trolls. They are not Christianized, but I would read passages from the Lord's Book to them and could feel their spirits quelled. They are quite intelligent and receptive to simple symbols, such as the question mark and the arrow. However, their appetites are ravenous and particular. I've left detailed instructions on the recipes I've prepared for them throughout the years. 
My judgment has led me to believe that it's in their best interest to be fed on a light diet of fruits and vegetables, which they cannot find underground. They have shown great appreciation for this nourishment, though remain particular in its preparation and presentation. Please consult the instructions I prepared for you. Within days, intense prolonged seismic activity occurred in Kalmar. Foundation investigation quickly discovered the existence of SCP-8999 through a law enforcement report filed by Emil Elbag, Zachariah's nephew, who purported that the origin of the activity was occurring as a result of the lift in the parish basement. An excerpt from the Foundation interview with Emil has been included below. He was a priest, so I wasn't expecting a fortune or anything, but, uh... You inherited his trolls. I guess, man. I couldn't find that cookbook at all. Like, how was I supposed to know what they ate? So, what were you feeding them? Uh, some kebab, pizza, a little liquor, that sort of thing. They sent up this. I don't think they liked it. Hmm. I don't even know what they wanted. I sent down some fruits, like he said, but they sent those back up too. I guess that's when they realized something was up, cause the earthquake started right after. I'm really sorry, sir. I've never fed trolls before. That's quite alright, Emil. Emil Elbag was amnesticized, and following cover-up operations of the seismic activity in Kalmar, the Foundation seized Abi Parish and began communication with SCP-8999. Addendum 8999.2 Communication Log The Foundation established communication with SCP-8999 on September 24, 2023, using drawings and symbols that were sent down the lift via paper. A sheet of blank paper and a pen were also included to prompt a response, a log of significant interactions between SCP-8999 and the Foundation has been included below. After some debate among researchers, it was determined that SCP-8999 were requesting an eggplant. A bundle of eggplants were sent down the lift. They were promptly sent back to the surface. Minor seismic activity occurred shortly after. As the Foundation was unable to determine what SCP-8999 was requesting, the entity was presented with a variety of choices. A platter of the above items alongside several other similarly shaped foods were delivered to SCP-8999. All were rejected. Seismic activity occurred shortly after. Communication with SCP-8999 was paused in order to better assess its requests. A variety of foods were tested and met with rejection and subsequent seismic activity in the following weeks. On October 17, 2023, SCP-8999 initiated communication, marking the first time it had done so. Thank you. 
SCP-8999 were provided with a box containing a collection of images of a variety of foods and objects and were prompted to choose among them. The images were returned without communication. Seismic activity continued, intensifying in magnitude. Communication with SCP-8999 was postponed indefinitely, though the entities continued to initiate conversation without response. Five hundred fifty three repeated communications excised. In an effort to stop the intense seismic activity, SCP 8999's head researcher, Dr. Pirelli, offered to travel down the lift and attempt to further SCP 8999's communicative ability. As the cover-up of seismic activity proved costly for the Foundation and little headway was being made in determining SCP-8999's desires, Dr. Pirelli's request was approved by his site's Board of Experimentation. On October 28, 2023, Dr. Pirelli descended the lift. Boxes of communicative tools were sent down immediately after, including pictures, graphs, and writing utensils. Communication with Dr. Pirelli was lost shortly after his descent. All communication with SCP-8999 ceased for three days. On October 31st, 2023, SCP-8999 reopened communications. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon, and a special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince, and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon. Link in the description.